What's going on guys? So today we're talking about the Thrunite TN50. This thing is beastly. This, I believe, is their brightest light to date. And this is pumping out over 16,340 lumens on the, the super turbo mode. There's a turbo mode and a super turbo mode. So over 16,000 lumens. That is hard to really express. Um, I mean, even video doesn't really kind of capture what kind of light this is putting out. This would absolutely completely light up your backyard or your front yard. I mean, obviously people live in different areas. You might have a hundred acre front yard, <laughs> but I would say like a three quarter acre lot, like an average size home yard, it'd be like you're turning the lights on inside your house. It is absolutely ridiculously bright. This thing is all flood. All right. Naturally, because it's so bright, it has throw. It has a, a decent amount of throw. But this just throws light in every which direction. It is crazy. I'll probably do another demo in the future. I actually did a video on this, but I made it, I tried to make it a fun like guessing game. And I put the light information in the description box, but not a lot of people saw that. So no one really knew what light I was even showing. But anyway, if you are interested, I can do more demos in the future in different scenarios to show, you know, what this looks like compared to other flashlights I've, you know, showed before. Again, it's hard because the human eye picks up a lot more light than a camera ever will. Uh, so sometimes when you're seeing a demo, it's brighter in person. But to give you an idea, this is brighter than one of my high beams on my car. All right, it really is that bright. But obviously it's throwing, you know, a little bit different. It's being reflected differently. So anyway, 16,000 plus lumens. Um, there's not a lot of flashlights on the market that are that bright. There's definitely some options. They are not cheap, okay? This one is one of the cheaper ones at about 260 bucks. That's right, um, you know, either on their website or through Amazon. They do uh, a lot of promotional codes. Sometimes you can get some uh, percentage off, so you can expect to pay a little bit less than that, you know, if you look for a deal. But um, that is on the cheaper side of things. All right, if you compare this flashlight with other 16,000 plus lumen lights, you're gonna find that most of them are hundreds and hundreds of dollars, if not over a thousand dollars. So this obviously does not appeal to the average person. This is a light you would get to show off. It's a light you would get if you have a practical, you know, purpose for it if you live on a farm or something, or if you have a great deal of land. You know, this literally just lights it up. It's crazy how bright this thing is in person, but this is not gonna replace your EDC light, okay? This is not gonna, obviously there's a bunch, there's actually seven different modes, and you can get lower light modes, so it's more of a practical light that lasts a long time, but the reason you would get this particular light is for that 16,000 lumen output. Your friend says, hey, look how bright my flashlight is. And that's when you break this out and say, no, it's not. And then you turn this thing on and completely blow their socks off. But most people aren't spending $260 on a flashlight. This is specific to, you know, people in the hobby. If I've mentioned this many times before, but candlepowerforums.com is the biggest flashlight related forum. Believe it or not, there's thousands of people who are really into flashlights. That is their main hobby. Just like you might like guns or knives or cars or shoes or whatever, it's a hobby. So that's what this really appeals to, that type of person. But if you happen to have the money to spend on it, you have all that capability, but you can still use it on the lower you know, light modes as more of a practical flashlight, okay? But just keep in mind, um, on a lower light mode, you're gonna get all flood, 100% flood, so it's just the wall of light, all right? As opposed to any kind of throw. Once you start pumping up the power to those higher modes, that's when you naturally get the throw just because it's coming out so, so much. It's just absolutely ridiculous. Even though these are LEDs, it does um, emit some heat. All right, I'm gonna turn it on here. There's that massive mode. Um, like from right here, I could totally feel the heat from this light. Even back here, I can feel that heat. All right, as far as holding it in the hand, uh, it doesn't get too hot where it's, it's uncomfortable to handle. I've had some different flashlights like that. If it's on for a couple of minutes, it actually gets hot in your hand. Keep in mind too, the run times and the outputs. In fact, I'm gonna show you that in a second but the full 16,340 lumens, it lasts 80 seconds. Okay, and then it's gonna drop down to you know a lower mode. So 80 seconds of that, you might not think it's a lot of time, it really isn't a lot of time. I don't know what you would be doing other than playing with this to see that. Like again, the scenario, let's say you're a farmer and your sheep or your horse or whatever, they're making some noise, you go outside, turn this thing on, light up your entire you know backyard or front yard or the whole barn area, whatever the case may be. You can see if there's like a, you know, coyote over there screwing with the animals or something. That's like a realistic scenario as to why you would use this light. 80 seconds should be totally fine for that, but even dropping it to the next level and getting a lot more of that runtime, you still have plenty of light. It's just, again, it's so hard to express what 16,000 lumens looks like, 
All right, most of you guys out there grabbing, you know, pretty affordable uh, flashlights. You're used to anywhere from 500 or 1,000 lumens. 1,000 lumens would be very impressive. Uh, you know, you can imagine six time, 16 times as bright as that. It's just ridiculous. Super, super, super bright. So real quick, let me show you the paperwork that came with this. This will make my life a little easier. I don't have to jot off a bunch of numbers and stuff. All right, is this, <laughs> let me look at oh, off camera, there we go. Making sure I'm showing you the English version here. All right, so there's, you could pause your screen right there. So you can see all the outputs and run times, but in case you can't read that or it's too small, um, again, 16,340 lumens on the Turbo S mode for 80 seconds. And then after the 80 seconds, it drops down to almost 3,000. It's 2,964 lumens for over 230 minutes. So keep in mind, if that doesn't get it done, you need the, the light for a longer duration than 80 seconds. You're still getting almost 3,000 lumens, which is crazy bright, all right, for 230 minutes. And then so on, obviously. All right, just like all the other through night lights, this has, you know, the firefly mode in the off position, you hold it and you get the, you know, half a lumen, whatever. And in this particular situation with the huge battery pack that's on the inside here, it just lasts like forever, literally forever. <laughs> well, not literally forever, but longer than you'll ever need it. So let's take a look at this. Here's the business end here. You see this has uh, quad LEDs or four LEDs, right? These are the Cree XHP 70.2. It's an odd number. I don't think I've seen a Cree LED that had a decimal in it, but that's what these are, a XHP 70.2 LEDs. All right, you can see that massive diode on there. All right, LED standing for light emitting diode, if you didn't know that. So that's it for the business end of the flashlight. Massive LEDs, massive battery pack, okay, which is internal. This does not unscrew or anything. All we have is a charging port on the back. All right, the battery pack inside is a 21700 battery pack. It's a 5,000 milliamp hour, you know, lithium cell. Um, it's running on 14.4 volts. Uh, it's, you know, it's, it's kind of chunky, it's kind of heavy. Uh, 1.4 pounds or 23 ounces total, um, you know, for these bigger, bigger flashlights and use air quotes there because this one's actually pretty compact for how much output you're going to get um but this one is uh, 5.2 inches long okay and 68 millimeters or 2.6 inches on the head diameter all right it does come with a little light holster or sheath which works very well i know because i used it I always liked uh, through night's style of uh, sheaths. You have a D-ring here, so you can put a carabiner on here and just clip it to the belt loop on your jeans or something, or your pants, or, or a bag. Um, as well as Velcro, you can fish this through your belt, or you can use the sewn-in part that's even stronger, and then fish your, your uh, belt through there. All right, so very good sheath, does hold very nicely. Again, keep in mind, almost one and a half pounds. So you put this on the side of your body and you're walking a long duration, you know, somewhere, it's a lot of weight on your side. You might want to counterbalance that by having something on the other side of your body or just attached to your bag. But anyway, good uh, good sheath. I like it. it. Did come with an accessories pack. All right, replacement switch for the charging port because these things sometimes, you know, opening and closing all the time, they do rip. It is just rubber. All right, so it's somewhat water resistant. But there's the charging port. If it does happen to rip, you get a spare. You get a little uh, flat D-ring. You can put on here. So if you want to attach your own lanyard or something, did not come with a lanyard. And then a, a, a spare um, rubber piece for underneath the, the button. All right, just like some of the other higher end uh, through night lights, this has a uh, battery indicator. All right, so when it turns red, that's when you need to charge your battery. Uh, I did fully charge this because I, I used this until it ran out of a charge. I don't know how long it takes because I, I forgot. <laughs> so it's bad in that I couldn't figure out how long it took to recharge completely. But it's good in that the next day when I realized that I plugged it was off. All right. So if you do plug this in when it's done charging, it does shut off, which is nice. Uh, there is also a lockout mode. All right. Which is interesting uh, because a lot of power here and everything, especially that high output, you want to maintain that. If you happen to put this in a bag or something, you don't want to accidentally turning on. Um, you hold it when it's off into the firefly mode and then you hold it down again. I think it's five seconds until it shuts off and that's locked out. Okay. So there you go, it blinked red. So now when you go to touch it, it's just gonna blink red, it's not gonna turn on. So it's a lockout mode. To uh, you know, turn the lockout mode off, you hold it down again. Same thing, I believe it's five seconds or something, and it'll turn that off, all right? So you're able to use it. So just a nice little feature, all right? So in case you do want to uh, store this somewhere and you don't want to worry about that button getting pressed, actually turning on, drain the battery pack, that's a nice feature. I like the lockout mode, it's cool.
So this is a heck of a lot of light, a lot of power, and basically the size of a soda can, all right? And comparing this to other, you know, 10,000 plus lumen flashlights, not only is it one of the cheaper options, but it's also one of the smaller options. But again, it's totally not for everyone. I, I understand it, obviously. Uh, it's for people who just really like gear, people who are specifically into the flashlight hobby. Um, if you happen to be part of a rescue squad or, you know, police force or something, this might be something cool to have in a squad car. You know, it's obviously not a mandatory thing, but there's certain situations where this can be practical as opposed to just all fun. For me, obviously, it's all fun. I don't have a practical need for something like this. It's definitely a, a want type flashlight, but it is really cool. All right. And it's, it's, it's so hard to really show you. It's hard to show you even in a demonstration video. It's hard to really comprehend how bright this thing really is. All I can do is maybe compare it to other more known flashlights so you can see the difference on video, which maybe I'll do in the future. I don't really know. You guys let me know down in the comments if you want to see that. But anyway, that is pretty much it. That is the new TN50, their brightest light to date. It's pretty cool. Honestly, it's, it's uh, a lot of fun playing with massively bright flashlights. I, I can't tell you how many people, you know, when I'm out just doing testing and stuff, they'll come up to me and ask, like, hey, what is that? You know, what do you got? And then, yeah, it's just a new flashlight. I'm just trying it out. Really? Wow, that's, that's so bright. So here's the uh, charging pack. I don't know if I showed this before. All right, so you just have a standard wall plug for US anyway. And then uh, there's your, your charging cable that just plugs in the port. All right, really simple. Huge, you know, converter pack here. Make sure everything's safe, nothing's gonna overheat. And like I said, I totally forgot this was plugged in. So fully charged overnight and then shut off by itself, which was nice. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know down in the comment section, currently your brightest flashlight, what is it? How bright is it? And do you like it? Uh, you know, you're in the market for something brighter. Again, for me, this is total novelty, total fun. I don't have a legitimate need to have such a bright light. Some people out there might. I don't know, let me know. Do you, you know, have a profession or you, do you do something that requires you to have such a bright light? I would say even a security guard doesn't necessarily need something like this, but it would be a lot more fun to have, you know? I think something like this should be in every squad car. You know, every, every police car out there should have something that's this capable. So if some scenario breaks out where they just need a lot of light quick, you could literally light up a whole room, light up a whole alleyway, whatever. It'd, just be, it'd be a cool thing to have, but obviously, you know, police departments have funding, and I don't know if uh, $260 flashlights is in that budget. But anyway, that's all. You guys post in the comments some other legitimate reasons you might need 16,000 lumens in your flashlight, and a pocket-sized flashlight for that. You know, you would think a 16,000 lumen flashlight would be the size of a baseball bat. It's, again, it's amazing how much technology has advanced being in the gear scene for over a decade now. I mean, more than a decade, but at least on YouTube the last 10 years. Uh, I've seen, you know, flashlights that were were amazing that they broke the thousand mark. You know, I remember back in the day when if you had a flashlight that was over a thousand lumens, guess what? It was probably over a thousand dollars. So the, uh, the technology advancing and making things so affordable, again, not affordable to everyone in this particular light, but you know, in the case of most flashlights, you can go out and spend 20 bucks and get a super, super bright flashlight. That is awesome. That's really cool. All right, guys. So I figured I should give you at least one demo before I go. Um, I'm in the front of my house and you guys know for years and years I always used this beam shot to give you a comparison so you can look at one flashlight video to the next even if it's years ago and still compare them to each other and that's just a shot in the front lawn I have a little bench out there if you don't know I live in the woods so there's plenty of trees um, but I'm gonna give you that quick shot show you it looks like with 16,000 lumens I don't think I've ever shown a flashlight this bright in this particular spot but it might give you somewhat of a reference so here we go, 16,000 lumens. All right, the entire lawn is completely lit up. As I pan up to these trees, these are like 70 foot trees to the top. And you can see everything just completely lit up from one side of the screen to the other, and it's even wider in person. Don't mind my, my breath, it's very cold out here. But yeah, I mean, it is super, super impressive. So there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Let's pan across. Let's see the tree at the top of your screen right there. Again, about 65, 70 foot. And probably, I don't know, 30 or 40 feet away from me. Just, just amazing. It just lights up everything. So cool. So anyway, that's it. Hope you guys have a good one. And I will see you tomorrow with another video. Take care.